Hello and welcome to our next CSK tutorial. This time I would like to show you how to load designs from my USB key as well as from the network, but not only one design, several designs. And in this case, we know already we have the possibility here on the right side to load designs from the USB stick as well as from the network and the barcode too. But if we use that one, we can just use or select one design. On the other side, we do have here a design manager. I will show you that one here. The design manager, and even while the machine is working or doing the sewing, I can load designs already, or I can delete designs. So I do have now a USB key in my hand, and I would like to put it in one of these USB ports behind. Right, now we see on the left side, we do have the possibility to say load from a USB device. On the right side, we have the possibility to say write on a USB device. If we load one, also in here you see then my folders on the USB key. And with the arrow keys, you just can go through and select then the particular one you want to have. But also designs, maybe they are simply on the USB key, you can select. Just by pressing select and you will get the design. Right, I will cancel this now and we go back to load from USB device once again and I will now choose a folder where are, I put several designs are in and I do so with the button select and here we see our designs right now. We do have here on the bottom also several possibilities as you can see. This is for instance the picto that you see the little pictures. This is always the design information, we call it the design head. If I do so, I can see already what kind of design it is, how many needles does it have, etc. But we go back again. Here, that one, the number three here, is the capacity of the T8 panel. Here you see how much capacity we have actually, how much is free, and how many designs are already saved. This is just for the information. And on the other side, here we do have, and I'll show you that, that is quite important select designs. So that means if I press that button, I can choose by pressing the button the designs. If I don't want anyone like this here, I just go through with my arrow keys down and select the others until I have enough. If I say now select, it will load, no modification, the design step by step, quite quickly as you can see. So I will abort this now, I say now cancel. Uh, I have to wait until it is finished, here we are. We go back to load from the USB device. And again, I will go to my folder, it's called designs, as we know, select it. Another side you have here, or another possibility you have here, select all designs, here we are. Select all designs means take everyone in the folder. If I press select, it will take it and you have it already in your memory very quickly. Don't forget, I told you, it is also possible to load designs while the machine is doing the sewing, right? Okay, what else do we have here on the bottom? This one here is to sort designs. We do have the possibility on here, it's called here display designs only, means simple, the design should be displayed in the directory. And on the other side, we do have these repeat tables where you can actually copy designs in certain area and if I do so it will show me there is no repeated design inside. Show me the whole designs, here we are. The button on the right side here means show me everything what is on the USB key or even in the memory as well as on the networking part, means on your computer, on the shared folder and on the right side here which is called ABC means I'm looking for a name. Here we do have now our keyboard and I can give a certain name for looking a, a design on it. Uh, well, I try to find something, let's say somehow test, maybe I'm lucky. Here we are and I found a design called test and I can simply now select it and I got it. Also here I say now escape, I don't want to load it completely. We go back to load from device. Again, I'm choosing my folder, select it, and we do have... Now the last button is looking for the number, means the design number on the flash drive or wherever. If I do so, 
On the bottom appears the numbers and you simply can select the number like I'm looking for the number 35 and it will jump immediately to this position. Also here simply you say then select and it's done. Well we have seen now how to load designs from a USB device. Also we do have the possibility to write on a USB device. In this case I will take here now the write button called write to USB device. I do and I see already my designs on my own memory, actually on the D8 memory. We do have here the same buttons as before. As well, the pictograms, as you can see, I can choose it also with the arrow keys like this. The red frame shows me where I am. And if I want to have this design, I have here the possibility to mark it. Now it's marked and I can go further and further and further, as you can see. If I don't want to have that one, the ZSK one, I just go down and take maybe another one like this one and this one and this one. Here we are. And if it is like this, I say select and it will write now actually on a USB device, but before he's asking me in which folder. As you can see, I have even here the possibility to create a directory right here. That means to create a folder. Anyway, I can put it now in one of these folders I have already and I take maybe the designs again. Here we are. Take this one and select it and it starts to write on the USB device. Now we see the loaded designs and I have still here a chance to change the number as well as the name before it goes on the USB device. Just that you know the code will be a transport code on the USB device. That means the Z00 or the ZOO code. And if I confirm, it is done now. Right. The next one what we have here. Underneath is load via network. Also, don't forget, while the machine is doing the sewing, I can load already designs to prepare my next order. And in this case, I am already connected with our computer and in, in this case, the shared folder. I can choose one or several designs. It is actually the same way as we have on a USB device. And if I do so, I have the design already in my memory. On the other side, we have write to the network. So that means I can also put a design as a zoo file into my shared folder. This could be on a server even. And if I do so, I select the design, tell him which folder is shared. This one is shared and the design is back into the computer. Right. Underneath here below, we will see delete from USB device. That means I can delete designs on a USB device very quickly. If it is necessary, again, the folders appears and it is always the same way. We select the folder and here again, I have the chance to mark the designs. And if I would say select, you have here the last possibility to deny it. Means if you say previous, you are back. But if you say delete designs, they are gone. I will say previous just in case. Right. On the other side here, we have initialize memory means it will delete the whole folder inside the T8 control panel and you do not have any designs anymore inside, just like a formatting, formatting and, but it will not affect the software itself. So no worries about this. On the left side, we have delete from the network. It's the same as we have seen on the USB device. And very important, as you can imagine, the T8 does have a certain capacity and to make sure it gets not full, we can delete designs, unnecessary designs. How to do this? We say delete from memory, choosing the designs as much as you need or the particular designs you want to delete, even in the pictogram mode. I'm choosing, as you can see, like that or like this. And if I don't like them anymore, I say select designs. Again, there comes one warning. If I say delete designs, I do it right now that you see what will happen. It's starting now to delete designs quite quickly. So also this is done. Last one is copy within a memory. Means I can copy a design which exists already in the panel. What for is this good? When you have, for instance, a design which is rotated, 180 degrees for the cap device. Then I can rotate it back and keep the original. This is actually the idea. Or I increase it or decrease it, the, the size of it. 
This is just the simple idea of it. I do it quickly, as you see that, and we take now this design called beer, and I select it, and it's already copied again in the memory with a higher number. Right, this is everything about the design manager. If you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.